Julie from the Johnsburg Library. Thank you for being here once again to have fun at Story Hour with me. I hope you have had a great week. I wanted to let you know that today is a very special day for me because it is my oldest daughter's 21st birthday today. And her name is Kira, and she is the one who records these story hours every week. I couldn't do this without her. In fact, she's behind the phone right now recording this. So, Kira, happy birthday. I hope today is awesome for you. And thank you for doing these awesome videos and for being so terrific. I love you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay, friends. So this week also is Father's Day. Father's Day is coming up. It's going to be on Sunday, June 21st. So I want to give a shout out to all those dads out there. Happy Father's Day. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoy your time with your kids. Okay, so let's get started. We normally start with a warm-up song. And for our warm-up song, we need certain things from our bodies to do this song. And these are the things you will need. You will need your hands. You will need your feet, shoes on or shoes off, whatever is most comfortable for you. You will need your knees and you will need your fingers. And lastly, you can go grab your real toothbrush or if you'd rather not do that, you can pretend and use your finger as a toothbrush for the part of the song that requires the toothbrush. So if you're ready to get your body moving, I'm ready to get my body moving and let's get started. Here we go. All right, guys, I hope that you are up on your feet and that you have all of your body parts for this song and maybe even a real toothbrush. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's begin. Let's get our bodies moving. As you know, I like to dance at this part. Are you going to dance with me? Come on, friends. Let's dance. Get your hands out. Hands are for clapping. Clapping to this song. Hands are for clapping. Let's all clap along. Clap your hands. You can clap up high, down low, behind your back. You can even tap your head. Tapping, tapping to this song. Toes are for tapping. Let's all tap along. Tap, tap your toes. toes. I have shoes on today again. Are you barefoot? Do you have socks on? Shoes? Boots? What? Now with your fingers. Fingers are for snapping. Snapping to this song. Fingers are for snapping. Let's all snap along. Snap your fingers. Do you think this one's hard? It is. I get it. Just try your best or just pretend. Good job, Get your feet on your knees for this one. Knees are for slapping. Slapping to this song. Knees are for slapping. Let's all slap along. Slap your knees. Do you like to bring your knees up high? Or do you like to go down low like this? Now this one's good for you. Here we go. Teeth are for brushing. Brushing to this song. Teeth are for brushing. Let's all brush along like this. Clap your hands. Hands are for clapping. Clapping to this song. Hands are for clapping. Let's all clap along. Good job. Yay. 
Alrighty, it is time for book one. And this book you can actually stand up for and do the movements if you'd like to. I'm going to stay seated, but I know that you like to move around. So enjoy this book because there are a lot of different movements that you can do and it's a little bit silly. So I think you're gonna really enjoy it. It is called Wiggle. Who couldn't love that, right? Who doesn't love to wiggle? So how many people do you think worked on this book, Wiggle? Any guesses? There are two. Two wiggly people worked on this book, Wiggle. We have the author or the person who thought up the story, wrote it down and put it in a book form for us. That is Doreen Cronin. So thank you, Doreen, for this book, Wiggle. We also have the illustrator or the artist who did the fun pictures in here, and that is Scott Mention. So thank you, Scott. Thank you, Doreen, for giving us this book that we can move to and have fun with called Wiggle. There we go. Remember, you can do the movements if you'd like to. They're pretty silly. Looks like our main character in this book is a dog. And that makes me happy because I love dogs. All right, here we go. Do you wake up with a wiggle? Do you wiggle out of bed? If you wiggle with your breakfast, it might wind up on your head. So you gotta be careful. First, wiggle where your tail would be, then wiggle all your hair. Oh, speaking of hair, I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I'm finally getting my hair cut. So next week, I may look different with my hair. So don't be confused. It'll still be Miss Julie. So then wiggle all your hair. I really can't wiggle my hair right now, but maybe next week I'll be able to because I'll have it down. Okay, be on the lookout for that. Feeling extra silly? Wiggle in your underwear. Oh my goodness. I'm going to I'm going to turn this page. Can you wiggle with your shadow? So if it's a sunny day, go outside and see if you can see your shadow and wiggle with it. Can you wiggle with your toys? Now, I think you could do that. That's pretty easy, right? When you wiggle with gorillas, do they make a wiggle noise? Hmm. Let me know if you wiggle with gorillas. Can you wiggle in the water? Wiggle one fin on each side. Or wiggle like a crocodile. Open big and wide. Whoa, look at that big mouth. Hoo-hoo. When you wiggle where your wings would be, wiggles fill the sky. Are those bees? Bzzz. Wiggle slowly when with polar bears. They're very wiggle shy. Look at this sweater. Snakes are one big wiggle. No wings, no tails, no feet. Some wiggles are worth waiting for. Wiggle, wiggle, tweet. Oh, it's a brand new baby bird. Would you join me for a wiggle? Would you wiggle on the moon? That might be fun. I think we're out of wiggles now. See you wiggle soon. All right, guys, do you still have some wiggle power in you? I hope so because now I'm gonna have you pretend that you are an airplane. So we're gonna be back up on our feet. 
and we're going to be moving our bodies again. It's a very active day for us today. So this is an action song called I Am an Airplane. Are you ready to join me? We're going to do it one time through. Here we go. I'm an airplane, I'm an airplane, flying high, flying high. I can tilt this way, I can tilt this way, in the sky, in the sky. I'm an airplane, I'm an airplane, flying high, flying high. I can tilt this way, I can tilt this way, in the sky, in the sky. I'm an airplane, I'm an airplane, flying high, flying high. I can make a landing, I can make a landing from the sky, from the sky. Very good. Good airplanes, everybody. Now it's time for furry friend break. Enjoy more crazy clips of our furry and furless friends. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was a crazy time videoing them this week. Oh my gosh. So because of that, we have a little blooper reel for you at the end of story hour today. So stay tuned for the fun of that. Okay. All right. So we are still in the season of spring and with spring comes some storms, some rain, some wind. And when we have the wind, it's fun to fly a kite. So our flannel today is about kites, okay? So I don't know if you've gotten a kite out on those windy days, but it's a lot of fun to fly a kite. So see about flying a kite soon. All right, this is called kites. Can you help me count them first? Here we go. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Five kites. All right, here we go. And you can help me with some movements too here. Five bright kites I bought at the store. Along came a strong wind. Are you ready? Let's make a strong wind together. Now I have four. Four bright kites flying over the sea. Along came a big wave. Help me make a big wave. Whoosh. Whoosh. Now I have three. Three bright kites. I'll give one to you. Now I have just two. Two bright kites flew too near the sun. Poor little kites. Now I have one. One bright kite, that's enough for me. I'll keep it away from the kite eating tree. Very good friends. Thanks for helping me with that one. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, thank you so much for helping me with the flannel little rhyme today. I appreciate it so much. I would like to read a book now to honor Fathers for Father's Day. It's a cute little book called The Fathers Are Coming Home. And there are two people who work together to create this book.
We have the author who thought of the story and wrote it down. That is Margaret Wise Brown. She is also the author of Goodnight Moon, if you know that book. And then we have the illustrator or the artist of this book, and that is Stephen Savage. So I'm gonna say thanks to them both. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Margaret, for this book called Fathers Are Coming Home. Here we go. This is for all you fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. It is nighttime and the fathers are coming home. What do we have here? Looks like a boat, huh? The fish father swims home to his little fish that live in the gurgling brook. Oh, he's got lots of babies. The bug father flies home to his little bugs that live under the log. Let's count his babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven babies. The rabbit father hops home to his little bunnies that live in the hollow tree. How many babies does he have? One. Two, three, four. The daddy long legs comes home to his little daddy long legs. <clears throat> and it looks like he has four babies too. One, two, three, and four. The dog father comes home to his little puppies. One, two, three, Aw, they're happy to see Dad. The bird father flies home to his little birds. He brings them a worm and sings them a song. Aw, let's count those babies. One, two, three, four, five. Five babies. The snail father creeps slowly home to his little snails. Two, three, four, five, six babies. The lion father lives alone, so he comes home to himself. Hmm. The pig father wallows over his little piglets that live in the pig pen and grunts at them. <coughs> How many babies does he have? One, two, three. And the boy's father, who is a sailor, comes home from the sea. Here he comes. Home to his little boy. Yay! Happy Father's Day, dads. We are back up on our feet. We are going to do a song with our shakers. So if you don't have your shaker nearby, please pause the video and go grab those and I will wait here. All right, do you have your shakers? Very good. This is a silly little song called Grandma Mose Was Sick in Bed. We will do it twice, okay? So just follow along with me. So get your shakers ready. Here we go. Grandma Mose was sick in bed. She called for the doctor and the doctor said, Grandma Mose, you're not sick. All you need is a cinnamon stick. Get up, shake, 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 shake. Get down, shake, 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 shake. Turn around, shake, 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 shake. Get out of town, shake, 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 shake. Very good. Now let's do it a second time, but let's use a different stick. Hmm. How about a hockey stick? All right. So we're going to get our little hockey stick and pretend like we're hitting the puck when it comes time in the song. Are you ready? Let's do it again. Here we go. Grandma Mose was sick in bed. She called for the doctor and the doctor said, Grandma Mose, you're not sick. All you need is a hockey stick. Get up, shake, 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 
shake, get down, shake, 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 turn around, shake, 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 get out of town, shake, 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 shake. Very good, friends. Hope you had fun. So did you like that little song, Grandma Mo's? I thought it was pretty fun. I'm going to thank Jay Berry on YouTube for that idea because that was where I found that one. All right, here we are on book number three. It is called Butterfly Butterfly. It is a book of colors and it is created by one person and that person is Peter Horacek. So thank you, Peter, for your words in the story and your artwork. Okay. Are you ready to learn some colors and find out more about this beautiful butterfly? Let's explore together. We've got all kinds of little creatures on here. Dragonflies and snails and caterpillars and bees and beetles and ladybugs. And I bet that is a grasshopper under there. Maybe a worm. Butterfly, butterfly. One day, Lucy saw a beautiful butterfly. Do you see it too? There it is. Looks like Lucy wants to get that butterfly. She played with it and chased it all around the garden. The next day, Lucy couldn't find the butterfly anywhere. Do you see it? I don't see it. But she did find a pink earthworm wriggling along the ground. And a brown spider busy spinning her web. Then Lucy discovered a green beetle and a family of very spotty red ladybugs scurrying around. And it looks like Peter also did some extra work here with some cutouts to make the book more interesting. I like it when books are like that. She saw a snail with an orange shell slithering. Three purple caterpillars munching a leaf. Yum, 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 yum. And a shimmering blue dragonfly. See, there's another little cutout. I wonder what we're gonna see on the other side. And a yellow bee with a stripe buzzing about. Can you help me make a bee sound? Bzzz. And this was the blue on the last page in the cutout. But Lucy didn't see the butterfly anywhere. She looked and looked. Lucy lay down in the cool grass to wait. Then, high in the sky, <gasps> there it was, her beautiful, colorful butterfly. Yay! See what Peter did there? He added an extra wonderful element to the story by this beautiful little pop-out that comes at the end of the story to surprise us. What a beautiful book, Peter. Good job. The end. All right, kids and parents, it is time for homework and academic resource. So your homework this week, well, it's a big one. I'm asking you to gather up your tapping sticks, your scarves, and your shakers. So you need three things next week. We're gonna do a song that has all three of them in it. 
So you need your shakers, your scarves, and your tapping sticks, okay? All right, your academic resource I found this week. I am very much into listening to podcasts, and I found one for kids, and I thought, why not pass it along? It is called But Why, and it is a podcast for kids. And I thought it was very clever because kids, such as yourselves, will... Um, turn in the questions. Your parents can record your questions and send them in and hopefully they will be mentioned on the podcast. Some of the topics that I found when looking through this podcast for the episodes, um, I saw one that was, why do spiders have eight legs? Have you ever wondered that? Or how does slime work? Or another one was, are llamas ticklish? I don't know. And how about this? Do animals get married? Hmm, that would be fun. And how about this? Are unicorns real? These are just some of the episodes that you will find on the But Why podcast. So parents, search um, using whatever app you have on your phone for podcasts and you will be able to find But Why podcast. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention with this podcast is they have coloring pages that you can print out and color while you're listening. So that I thought was fun. And if you look at the description on this video, I will leave you more information on um, how to record your questions and get them to the But Why podcast people, okay? I hope you enjoy uh, searching that and listening to the various episodes. All right, it looks like that is it for this week. Remember your shakers, your tapping sticks, and your scarves next week. Okay, we're going to have more fun. See you then. Now it's time to read our beautiful book by Jim Gill. May there always be sunshine. Enjoy. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be mama. May there always be me. May there always be colors. May there always be grapes. May there always be teeth. May there always be fish. May there always be pancakes. May there always be books. May there always be blankets. May there always be dads. May there always be farmers. May there always be hats. May there always be dancing. May there always be rain. May there always be skyscrapers. May there always be fiddles. May there always be birthdays. May there always be us. Everybody, I hope you had a great time at story hour this day, but it is time for us to say goodbye. I'm going to take out my shaker jar and I'm going to use it in our goodbye song today. You can take out yours too if you want or don't. It's up to you. But here we go. We're going to say goodbye now. Have your hands, stop your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eyes. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends.
to be well, to live strong, and to laugh often. Speaking of laughing, stay tuned for our blooper reel for the furry friend break. Bye, friends.